a one lander? Or we can't do that. I mean, I'll keep this. I don't want to go down anymore. Never cost more than two mana. I mean, true. I think we're against mono green. Yay. And I go to combat, attack in, shock that in, pop the elf, and pass. Oath of Nyssa. I find a Palook. Play Pia. Play this tapped. Go attacking for one damage. I play Kiora. I wish Mystic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to cast Love Struck Beast here. Play Mana Confluence. I'm going to go attack in over at the Kiora. California. Seiju. Yeah, it's a promo confluence or it's a commander confluence. Mm -hmm. All right, we popped the Nykthos with our Beseju. It's four mana. Yeah, I Beseju and Nykthos. I didn't want them having six mana. That's a little late. Play land tapped. I think we have to buy the... Uh... Oh, no, we can just play Lucky Clover, I guess. Like, we're going to send Love Truck Beast at Kiora. I think we just send a Love Shark Beast and our tokens at Kiora. If I send just these two, they just chumpier, chumpier. Yeah, it probably does have reach, but I need to send three, and otherwise they could just block the two. And I want to get rid of their card draw. Cavalier. That's gross. They got a forest or no a lair. Oh, you see. Come on, give me something good here. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna seek the beast here. We do end up copying it though. This is where Emperor Cliff is so good. Granted, Scalds would be good here too. Um, I could pop the Poly K here. I get to cast uh, Heart Heartful M Slash two times. It takes out three of their devotion. I think we want to pop the Palook and not the Cav. Pass. Blech. Well, they whiffed. Nice. Okay. Like question druid triggers. Hey, here, say yeah. We're on MTGO today. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
So like we're building up a board state, but like we can't attack in. Bench. Oh, what the? Oh, okay, okay. Oh boy, they're storming. So many cauldron lists. Elmo played against that an infinite loop one yesterday. Oh boy. An infinite loop one? Oh boy. Uh, we're in trouble. They put in the higher flight guy down first. I think we're dead. I'd rather not, to be honest. <laughs> So many things. That's why Embercleave getting trample on Bone Crusher and Love Struck. So good. Old girl adventure stacks. Oh yeah, definitely. Can we no, can we do Gruel adventures, but like splat like barely Naya splashing for Pia? Probably not worth it. Well, there's a Karn. There's gonna take it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he's a he's a really good uh, content creator, really good streamer. He's been on the Pro Tour a couple times too. I got the Chain Veil. I think I'm dead. Opponent has Pestilent Cauldron. Revealed. They're just doing a loop. The one then GG LMAO. <laughs> Friggin' Pia. Push trample damage here, but boys. Uh the list is originally was originally playing um the five mana one. Uh the five mana um Exile top five cards, you get to play additional land this turn, uh, and then you cast the spells till end your next turn. Uh so the combo works, uh you have to have f uh, 14 devotion or 15 devotion, I believe, and then you just get to play Karn, the great creator. Yeah, escape to the wilds. Uh, you get to play Karn, the Great Creator, um, and then you play have your Cure as well, minus your... Uh, you have to Nick Thos on the field. You minus your Karn, go get the Chain Veil, and then once you have Chain Veil, you're in you have enough mana to untap and stuff, and you have to have a Karn and a Cure in the Graveyard. It's a lot of setup, sort of, but it's easy to get to. Um, you can then infinitely, basically, basically infinitely activate chain veil and eventually loop and mill your opponent out of their deck by you by wishing for um uh the stone brain oh college cup my bad okay well if anybody didn't know how monogreen combo works there you go <laughs> one drop fairy keep on tapping kami that's interesting i'm cons i'm conceding as soon as like their clock is the same as mine I have that open in a new tab. I'm going to look at it later. Infinite mana, you should, should guy. Oh, boy. Brown no things come true. <laughs> to return from the grave. Alpine Moon, Alpine Moon's not worth it. Maybe these four or six. It's called isn't in the list for some reason. Weird. A showdown. I think we're cutting a clover. Giant Killer's good, isn't it? Uh, I mean it is. Uh, yeah. They have a lot of four power creatures. I just don't like the idea of them getting stuff back.
Hmm. What do we cut here? Three and three to four are Terror Sunders now, I think, if it picks up. Okay. I mean, Terror Sunders is just a really good removal spell, too. I like having one in the main and one in the side. I'm standard. I, I don't know if I'm born or just trimming some cards, really, and cutting my showdowns. I'm going to give Jun one last try, probably tomorrow, in standard. I'm cutting Questing Druid completely, and I'm done with that dragon. Got Drake 150 at Golgari last night. Sick. Last reactor. Ooh. Do, 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 do. I'm a Bruin teamer. <laughs> <laughs> Play our fast line of pass. Do 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 do. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just play Redain. They play Kiora. Pass to me. I think I'm just going to worry about base here. Naya, Naya. <laughs> I didn't update my stream tile. Forgot about that. Are they storming? Five mana, six mana. Thank you, discard. <laughs> Trigger that. I don't want to wait. I kind of want to wait and play in that because I have another question, Druid. Nick, how is uh, how's the mono green matchup usually? A little rough. Oh boy, Cavalier number two. Do 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 do. They did find a Nykthos. In Cyber for this matchup. Okay. Yeah, I did bring that in. Yep. They have one storm in the grave. Uh huh. All right, Cavalier number three. Uh, yeah, for those who are not aware what September is, uh, September, if you want to help support any content creator on Twitch, uh, September is actually a promotional thing that Twitch does where if you, you can subscribe for on a discount. Uh, all the info is right there that popped up in the chat. Uh, so I'd recommend checking it out sometime. Uh, it definitely does help support the stream if you were to subscribe during the month of September. I do plan on doing a like a a birthday subathon uh, towards the end of the month. I my birthday is this month on the twenty seventh. But I'm gonna celebrate it on stream with you guys on the Friday of that week and that's and leading into that Saturday. 
one deck its own. Nope. There's also an ad break coming up. <laughs> Back off. Play Heart's Desire. I'm gonna cast Stomp over here, I guess. Shock this in. Why did I shock that in? I put the wrong line in. I needed heart. Oh my god. I was thinking I can cast Heart's Desire again for some reason. No, we don't really have any good X spells, I don't think. Well, opponent, be scared of my fake Path of Endstra. No, no, fake uh, Path of Exile that's not existent in this format. Anytime I play against Mono Green, it kind of feels like a miserable matchup, to be honest. Mono Green Devotion. Hey, I lost Turtle is. Oh, oh, okay. You found it. Oh, no, it's not an X spell. But it has, it's a good channel ability. Uh, I'm sure opponent has it here. This deck is miserable to play and play against. Yeah, I used to play it because I used to enjoy it. I'm going to scoop here. I used to enjoy playing the deck until it was solved and everybody is playing it. Uh, Modo. This mono green again. Make a 1-1 one, one and pass. It is not mono green. Oh, it's this. That was like our best draw ever. Back in. Here's a, how is that uh, Jun Beseech deck going? Or Bargain deck going? We're against uh, low, lowest control or lowest combo. I mean, you have all your Jaffer kicks. Oh no! I mean, like it was like turn one layer pass, was, like it, mono green. I guess. I'm like I thought it was mono green too. And then all of a sudden, Botanical Sanctum, Spirits? Question mark? And then all of a sudden, uh, Voyaging Seder. Oh, okay. Sure. So we need to pop off and win. or And they need to, they need to fumble. Pretty sweet. It's really good uh, resilience. They return Impulse back to their hand. Trying to figure out the right card to be more consistent. Okay. Cast uh, Love Truck Beast, play this tapped, go to combat, attack with all. I don't think they main board any board wipes, I believe. Yeah, I was thinking Love Truck here just to get more pressure on the field. And then next turn we can go Scalds. Or I might just hold up Heart Flame Duelist. They're at, they're at 13, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 13. I have 13 on the field with Heartflame Duelist for casting that. A mid range is definitely the hardest matchup. Formats require you to know too much between all the decks. You could be facing how to deal with them. I'm too dumb for that one. It takes time. It takes time. Like standard, I'm still like unsure on some things. I'm enjoying standard, uh, the heck out of standard. But like. Uh, but like Pioneer, Pioneer's my favorite format. So like I. Try to pay attention to everything I can. Like, Lair the Hydra, turn one Lair the Hydra could be like, or like, for example, that turn one Lair the Hydra that could have been like what three decks, I believe. Mono Green, well, four decks it could have been Mono Green Devotion, Gruel, Boats, Lotus Control, or Combo, um, Mono Green Stompy, which is very, very, very fringe. It's not really around. How do you search X Spells in Arena? I am not sure. What do they have here to stop me, the kit, to stay alive? Because, like, I can deal three to face. 
I can shock this in, deal three to face. I don't need to shock that in. Yeah, I don't think Grease Fan plays one at all. I think I'm gonna go for the Heart Heart Flame Slash play. Cause that's like that ends the game. I can't think of any way they have the uh, Ottawara? No, Ottawara is four without any legendaries. They only have three mana right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna go shirt combat. And I guess I'll shock that in in case they have some weird counter spell. Like, mem like, uh, counter unless you pay two. No, uh, this is, uh, this deals three damage. I thought it was two for the longest time. Alpine Moon, we definitely want. Redain. I think it's just Alpine Moon and Redain. I could picture us bringing an invasion in, but I don't want to overboard. Like, we basically just have to be really aggressive in this matchup. Like, I could picture us cutting a Showdown and two torches, or all of our torches. Because, like, Showdown's very... It feels kind of slow in this match, I think. Yeah, that's true. Kip's not terrible. In slow's combo. Yes, totally does. So how about we do this? We got one more card to cut. I think we cut Questing Druid. A Questing Druid. Yeah, the, mo the more and more I play this card, the more I'm kind of falling, like, losing my li my faith in it. No matter the deck. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool in this deck because of Pia. If you play a Pia, it seems decent. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go with that. Sure. Sure. Never been a fan of the Ren's Resolve stuff for Pia. I, like, I, I, the actual Ren's Resolve I like, because you get that till the end of your next turn. Okay, we have double Alpine Moon. I'm just going to go and do it now. Uh, But, like, Questing Druids till end of your turn, of your ne your next end step. Or your your end step. Begin your end step, I mean. So it's like eh. Da da da. Your standard Jun deck replaced by Bloodthirsty Avatar. Yeah, I remember you mentioned that. Razor Rich Thicket. I think we just go Lucky Clover here. I mean like what so we can go Pia, but we have nothing in exile to take advantage of Pia at the moment. So I think we just go Lucky Clover at the moment. Cause then we can go Heart Heart Flame Duelist copied next turn. They did get Paseju also, so they are popping this. Next turn, we can actually probably go Paseju, second Alpine Moon, and Pia. Play for tell cards, that'd be nice. Oh, true, that'd be pretty cool. Think about Pia, it reminds you of the stupid owl thing that was in Kaldheim. <laughs> Stuff going on in standard, I found Shadow to be very useful again. Okay. Are you are you selling Mosswood? Like, Shadow's pretty good against Mosswood. Are they going to pop my Alpine Moon? I'm just going to play both. Like, they have to have more than one Besager now. What are the likely? What's the chances of them having two Besaju in hand right now? Three Masa, three Shadow, three Adversary. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Double answers. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Okay, we might lose here. I shouldn't have grabbed that. I only got double green.
Impulse, they have four cards in hand still. They're salt ultimating. The chat, what spells are you thinking during the grab? She's a lot like every day. I got Omniscient, Stark Petition, and Beyond the Behold. Hey, quick. I'm doing all right. I hope you're well. Chat, I, I downloaded the DLC for Pokemon yesterday. I got to play it still. I might do a short impromptu stream after FNM on Friday. Depends on what time I get home. And play it then. Sleep, mid-2000s, emo kind of day. In your house, sorry, big chillin'. Okay. Leer. That's scary. I was falling for a girl who would ask me to come over. I'll scoop in a second. I'm running back. Yeah, crypt is good during then. Chat, how do you think Pia is good in? Uh, how how well do you think Pia performs in standard? So we don't play. We're not playing Alpine Moon right away. I uh, decent. I mean, we did did okay, but when I played it in that YouTube video, I went two and one. I think. I think it's better in standard. Pretty good with Avengers and Reckless Impulse. Yeah. Welcome to the stream, True Proxy. Describe to the top. All right, land off the top, please. All good. Sanctuary. Land? Uh, nope, that's not land. Oh, boy. Uh... All right, we're going to dig for a land. The hair raising. Attack all. We're down to 12. It's nice. Sylvan Scrying, I get Beseju. Chunky there to be hurt. No, there it seemed, Drew seemed okay. Play the shield hair, we draw a card. If I actually waited, I could have got more damage there. Would I add lethal? If I waited to play the land? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, I would add lethal. Cool. That's a mulligan. How you doing, Evan? We'll keep this one. Now, what do I put? I think I put showdown back here, but we only have two. I kind of want to keep removal here if they are on boats. Do, 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 do. Pop the elf. Chat, there's an ad in five minutes. Do, 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 yeah. I think I'm too greedy if I go for the Lucky Clover play. Like, I would like to pop both of them, but that's a turn later. 
I'm going to go my two on paper with Golgari, Super Friends. Match you lost, game three, first nine draws, or lands, or elf. Okay. Clover is right. Sometimes <laughs> Dex wants you to lose. I mean, yeah. Fine. I mean, I suppose, like, they're going to have four mana on next turn anyways, even if we pop one of the elves, if they have a land drop. If they don't, that's nice. The only five mana play we're really scared of, it's a four mana play we're scared of, I guess. The boat, uh, not boat, um. They're missing a land drop. Give me a land. Nope. We're also missing a land drop. Yeah, we get double stop. I have to stop here now since they missed the land drop. I have to get rid of that shaman and that elf. Fortunately, that sucks. We missed a land drop. If we got a like green untapped green source, that'd have been sick. We would have got two one ones at least. If they're on their same build, they're on three of Crone Wars. Two boats. Fable into lands. Oh, Fable into no lands. Nice. I'm going to risk playing Pia here. Roll place and challenge for a crown for Huntsman Saga. Oh, the saga. Oh, the sagas. Yeah, there goes that. Do that. Make two more one ones. That gives you an idea. Huntsman seems better than you thought. Now they got land. Okay. Three, three, and then crap, cash an elf or something, and pump and trample two guys. Almost lost it the other day. It was scary. Oh boy. Tap land. One card in hand. I'm going to play it safe and just play as Love Struck Beast. Most damage to the creature tutor, but seems fine. No spicy targets, just gruel boat stuff and no vehicles. Oh. Chat that, start in any second. What are those? We're holding up uh seek the beast here. No. Ugh. Well, the two B with the two B, sir. A why I didn't attack. I'm I'm a little I'm playing a little too passively, I guess. Passively, I don't think that's the right word. Uh 
Oh, go to main. Shock that in. Played as Abs and Oros yesterday. Tried out the Archon of the Wild Rose. Or Cherry Tone Bow. Oh, okay. Attacks the blow. Uh, yeah, for the Beseju. I'm kind of thinking right now because like I'm gonna lose some of these spells in, in turn. I kind of want to cast the uh, Heart Flame Slasher now. Pop all the cats. And I want to play the Edgewall Innkeeper. But Star gets main a scavenger news. Dargaroth, something else. Difference of Pioneer at first, I thought it was going to. Yeah, it's pretty cool that it has. When your games. Oh, yeah, Garg is still a great card. Oh, it's so ill. Oh, yeah. They drew an elf. Find your set even more playable than you thought. Yeah, I, like I, I'm I'm glad about it. Like it doesn't feel overpowered like the original, um, Eldrain set felt, but I'm liking it a lot. Yeah, those definitely seem good. Or Crony seems a bit too a crony for you. <laughs> too a crony for you. <laughs> Can you get an option opinion on something? Sure. Okay, I'm doing this so that way our, our Love Shark Beast can't attack. Oh uh, no, it can still attack. Ah, They all have to attack. Beans guide. Uh, got get get guy. Oh, guidance. Why enchant creature gets plus plus when may cast or fiends guidance from a graveyard by paying two and a white rather than paying mana cost. I'd rather have Griftsman. I'd rather have flying. Yeah, but Sager would have been. Oh boy. Oh. Ha, ha. I would like to draw cards, but I don't think I can next turn. Uh, it might be just dead. Cast yeah, Love Struck Beast. They have one card in hand. Yeah, I probably should have left the land alone. I go to three if I do that. Block, block. I'm still dead. I'm dead if I play Bone Crusher as a creature. Am I dead no matter what? Why? Oh, never mind. No, they crew. Oh, never mind. No, you're right. They have to have a creature to play the crew then. Runs up well with Huntsman. I'm wondering about Dread Knight. List with Huntsman. I believe I'm. I, I believe I'm dead. Like they got two cards deep. Armable, yeah. They're playing Strangle. Yeah, most of their draws were just dead. Even if they get a second of uh, Chariot, we're dead. If they got a Stomp, we're dead. Like Bone Crusher, because they get a Stomp face and attack. Elf or Land, really? Yeah. Mm 
Oh, yeah, Gigantha. Yep. Lose my mind. Oh, here's a Sabi is just sent. Uh, cuts. Not liking all the things I'm cutting, but I think it's fine. No, showdown, I should have trimmed. Raise up a perfect chain. And I'm not close to perfect. Well, uh, let's draw a white source or a relevant spell. Yeah, it does feel pretty ouch. Yeah, Clover is, but like it just feels eh. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna get this uh shock out of the way. Pop and creatures is decent. Well, Darren, Thrill Seeker. This mana base has hurt. Play Showdown. Garden, Garden, Heart Flame Duelist. I can't do it. And Edge Wall. Chariot. All right, so we're going to go duelist, uh, dealing three to the Valdarian and the cat. Tap Confluence next turn as well. That was a good draw. Play edge wall. Slash. Ow. Or possible to make a two color version or maybe lightly splash a color. I was thinking like maybe we could just say gruel adventures and then splash white only for uh Pia. I am tempted to actually shock in to play Giant Killer. But I'm at 10. I don't think I can do that. Hopefully uh, we get to keep Edgewall. Like, there's three cards in our hand. We're at 10 life with three cards. Essentially five cards. Uh, this is kind of bad. Okay, well, they're not going to give us a chance to block. All right. Hey, Meeple. Uh, this song is Manai Call Me by Crown the Empire. No problem. Doing lately for three colored axes, choosing one major color, splitting the two splashes. Uh, uh, uh. It was less life doing that. Oh, yeah, totally. Do, do, do. Yep, okay, I'm dead. 
I am very dead. In red or green. That's some weird build. When did they name a card after me? <laughs> if they're on that mono white list that popped up right there, chat in the in the Twitch chat. I mean, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be kind of cool to see. Oh, bean soccer. Uh, bean socks usually ran in the build with Omnath. Yeah, the version that plays Omnath usually has that. Ghost Fireblade. Shivenry. Oh! 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 Chat! Are they on End Soul? I'm tempted to double block there. Hate that. Can I hate that? Players were probably not good enough. Yeah, we're just gonna control the board here. See his archetype for a long time. Thank you, opponent, for bringing it out. <laughs> could run red virtue. I don't like the idea of the red virtue. Maybe in like a mono red like deck. Ginger brute. That's gonna hurt. Stop still clovers. True. It's five man to cast, so that's why I don't like ah. <laughs> Ah, my three good adventure cards. That's a six six that can't be blocked. Can I get Besaju? I mean, like I would like to get Besaju. I really would. I don't think it's gonna matter. I think we. Ha I think I just pump one of these and then play this one. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Better say a mother of. On the world. Play tapped. Go to combat. Swing. Got to add in three and a half minutes. Woo. Our flyer seems okay, but I don't know. Furnace of Wrath isn't bad. I don't. Furnace of Wrath isn't bad. I don't. Furnace of Wrath? Or mana. Oh. Oh boy. All right, what do we do here? It's card draw. I think we're going uh, seek the beast here, and then hope we don't exile our seiju. What do we have for torture towers? Our flame duelist. I do have lifelink burn. Clover, yeah. And there's my Besaju. Ah! 
<laughs> no. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight damage this turn. I think we have to play the Besager for an untapped land because we're not we can't channel it. And then play Questing Druid. No, I, I can't Besager it's an exile. You can only play it as a land. No, yeah, but I can't, you can't yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go to combat. Hiya hiya. Yeah, because the channel is a discarding ability. We're dead if they don't if they don't block. Or they do block. No, yeah. Oh ooh. Okay, we're not dead. No, we are dead. We are dead. <laughs> we are dead. They make that through a 5-5, five, five, and it's equipped, so it gets plus 2, plus 2. And seven, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Or is that a 4-4? Four, four? Okay, we go to 1. Unless I play Shrapnel Blast. Ornithopter. Spire. Was burning me? Yeah, I thought they just don't block there and just swing. Seek the beast. Lands. Yeah, we gotta stop. This has been kind. So we attack in seven, eight. That's not enough. We're still dead. Oh, yeah. A common deck idea for Explorer. I think it's unique, but maybe. Yeah, if you want to share it, feel free to do so. Um, like if you're wanting to share it like privately, you can DM me on Discord or on Twitter. Okay, we're gonna bring our removal in. Get wear tears and deck and stone. I feel like showdown's way too slow here. And trim a hair and a druid possibly. No, hair and a clover. It's been an interesting match, at least. Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you cool if I bring up on stream after this match, then? Do you need me to list? Uh... Yeah, match treasures. You too. Uh, I can take a look at lists on, on stream. If I had lands, that'd be nice. Put a razor bridge to get back. I've, I've realized every time I go to trim my beard and I trim it down like this far, I'm realizing like, wow, I actually kind of like how I look now. Like, like when I trim my beard, I can't, and then I'm now thinking like, do I want to make this into a, my normal regular look? I, but I like my big beard. I usually have too, too much. I need to get a haircut though. I buzzed my hair a couple months ago and I was to the point, like it's too long on the sides and it's, uh, it's my hair always grows too long on the sides all the time. Kept a hand at seven. I I could blow up a land. How do you DM a Discord? Uh if if you're in my uh Discord server, you can just like right click on me and DM me. Shout I'm gonna blow up a land. I think I'm gonna blow up a land. I think I want to do that. Oh, 
Oh, no, shoot. No, no, I'm an idiot. No, I forgot. No, I'm an idiot. I forgot that was indestructible. And I feel like... Clip should be on Twitter. No. Oh, I feel su such an idiot. I want to not play Magic now. But I'm going to keep playing. I should be reading my cards. I played that card so many times before in Mono Green Devotion and the sideboard. I should know better. Yep. Uh... Yeah, I feel like a big idiot. Thank you. I'll pull it up after this match. Oh, great. It'll be really great, chat, if I actually use that wear tear on the right thing and then actually had this deck and stone for this indestructible creature. Uh huh. Uh, give me a second. Your loss of what happened? I punted. I I made a terrible play. A very, very dumb play. Who likes Lorna Shore? Uh, we're sort of back into it. I'm going to wait for them to activate that. Edgewell and Keeper would be a cool draw. That can sound would be cool. Yeah, cool. I'm going to wait a turn, though, and just play Love Struck. That's all I think. Oh. Or over to Pioneer or some you Life Pain Outlets. Yeah. I feel like I'm being baited. Yeah, Arena definitely is lacking in that part department. Okay. This game be in a much different game state if uh if I actually played my spells right earlier in the game. Yeah, kind of. Surrender. Play Lucky Clover. Hair raising over here. Same targets. Then an eight.
Ghost Fire Blade. Three, two, one, let's jam. Dun, 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 dun. What a weird card. It's called Apex of Power. Can you do the cup command for the card? Exclamation point card, then you type the card name. Oh, that's interesting. Um, Bro makes it cheaper. Okay. Non-token artifact. So you turn that to a 4-4. Four, four. I'm just going to pass. No. Arndell Elementus, Elementus, green red creature, shaman, two on one, turn to her, into the starts card, and grave it to your hand. And one, okay. Ornithopter. If that's three mana, then one mana to bring it back, but it's ten, makes ten, so... <laughs> Easy loop. Cauldron. Backup run. Haste one drops. So what do we do here? Sorry, I'm just trying to think. We play our creatures out and then use the pollen shield here. I'm at seven. We have to do it where we have to force them to block. If we had to untap land, it'd be better. We cast this on here and here. We go to five. That's what I'm trying to do. Also, I need to play faster. The problem is, I think we're still dead. Because of that Ghost Fire Blade. I should have just tackled on with the Bone Crusher. At six. They turned that to a base four. And has Trample. Turned into a 12 12. Yeah, we're just dead. I should have only sold the Bone Crusher. Doesn't matter, we're dead. Might sound cra crazy, but it will keep this. Playing humans of modern with scheming fence. I forgot what that card is. Um white and blue. Non light permanent activated abilities of chosen permanent can't be <laughs> Steel or Rain. Okay. That that's great. Chat, um, what are we putting on the bottom? I feel like Questing Druid has more value, but like Love Shark Beast is nice. Too. I'm gonna put Love Shark Beast on the bottom. Play this, and we're gonna pass holding up our torch of the tower just in case that they have like a turn on dork. Either vial it out and step. I'll pay a life. Okay. I'm glad we drew a land there. One gets activated. The activated ability. Okay. Yeah, because it's on ETB for the uh the rain to give you protection. Oh, why where'd the card preview go? I wonder what opponent's on. Great. Hey King Chainsaw. On your adventures going? Terrible. <laughs> it enters. Oh, it enters as okay. Miss the chance, chance to use it. Okay. The 
of mind over the set. You just pulled in a smothering tithe, no non anime parallel lives, and two anime bitter blossoms. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a pretty good pulls. Stomp Ground, Showdown, the Seiju, and Edge Wall. I think we're going for a showdown next turn. Probably shocking that stomping ground. But they're probably holding up counter magic. Alright, play Pia. Chance, how are you doing? Oh, not that one. Play Edge Wall. As thanks for asking. Glad to hear that. Yep. Weird that they did that now. Hmm. 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 All the sensors. Abled passage. I'm gonna play questing druid. Draw a card. Play inspiring advantage. I'm gonna attack in my two uh bird things. Thopters. Yeah, the more, like, this deck, Question Druid, does seem really great, but, like, when I play Question Druid in Standard, in, like, the Jun decks I've been playing, it just feels, oops, feels very eh. Like, not worth it. Remember Deluge. Hey, so have you played any, uh, Standard? No, unfortunately, there's been no reason to. I've just been playing it just to heck, for the heck of it. Uh, with the new set, and I've been enjoying it. Uh, I, I really enjoy unsolved standards. Um, unsolved standard metas. They're lots of fun. What are you doing, opponent? Yep. Okay. This, uh, the tournament scene doesn't allow for it. Yeah, which, which just sucks. Every internal format can't, should be truly solved. No, that kind of makes sense. Likes me and has been solved. Oh, I, I haven't touched that format in like forever. Best thing for 10 something years. Uh, yeah, it's been the best thing for a long time, right? Uh, seek the beast. Uh, my name. Isn't solid, but people are too lazy to try and break it. I'm playing modern tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of that uh, code that Daybreak Games has going out for all access. Lexi is all because you don't think enough people. There's not enough paper events for Legacy, but at the same time, when there's paper events for Legacy, people p play what they like. Uh, hmm. Are we getting more cards? We're getting all the lands.
There they go. Cast two more adventures, LOL. Well, the the pro <sighs> I mean, yeah. Exile top two cards your library until your next end step, you may play those cards. Until your next end step. That's different than Reckless Impulse, right? Can I, can I cast Fallen Shield here with no target? Oh, no. No, the uh, hit other thing. Yeah, until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. Recommend 70 card oops if you want to play a deck for all access tomorrow. Okay. Uh, P2 uh, the cell, welcome in. If I said your name wrong, I'm sorry. I'm glad I got it right. No problem. Or you play a cauldron deck that's been all the rage. Yeah, everybody's loving cauldron decks right now, right? Plus, it hasn't been reachful potential yet. Bye, Gigantha. All right, that's our turn. How does funny thinks? How does funny think? Yag and scale. What? Funny corner playable in any format. Hello, standard. I think. I've seen some people trying the bunny corn to some things. Like in like a Pia deck, I think. Or does funny things in Yaga scales. Oh, okay. That went right over my head, to be honest. I keep doing everything wrong here. The draw card. They have five cards left. Are we going to be able to do anything? I haven't honestly I haven't looked at modern at all since we got the new set. So I have to I have to like look at modern before I, I go live tomorrow. Yep. Well we got a duelist. Uh, I think I'm gonna hang on to the duelist in case there's a sheltered played. I think Karn Great Carrier is getting better and better in modern. Oh well. Three, eight, four, five. How much change? Oh, just some new toys. Okay. They don't want us having a 5-5. Five, five. As far as more artifacts get introduced. True. I mean, eventually, Karn's going to be a problem, right? I would think. So I technically have lethal. I gotta wait for them to tap out. I don't want my stuff getting countered. Cool. No, uh, modern legacy, you might see it said in a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mid rangey then rampy if it isn't already. There's a Karn deck in uh that's not Tron in modern, I believe, right? It's mono black. Mono black coffers. Alright, so we're against blue black control. Coffers doesn't play Karn. Okay, I was thinking it did for some reason. Or there is a mono black deck that does play Karn, right? Uh, also if anybody wants to get the list uh like on Moxfield, if you exhibit white deck, you'll get the link. So blue black control, I think we definitely just want invasion and maybe Redanes. It could be on Gear Hulk. Uh like I I'm expecting planeswalkers from them, so I think maybe keeping a touch or two. Most of us don't play Gear Hulk anymore. Just want invasion. Invasion of Gabagoo. <laughs> sure, we could well, let's try this. Bring invasion in and keep one to touch. Torch, torch. Touch the torch. Torch tower. Touch. Just the Midas touch. <laughs> I don't know. We'll try this out. Hi, bud. 
Hi, Tiberius. Oh, it's trust the Midas touch, I think. Tend to run over control decks. Uh, we can keep it. This is Tiberius, if you've never met him. Play a tapped. He's purring. They might have a sensor. I feel like we can't play around it. I think we just have to play our Clover into it. I mean, I could hold up Stomp, but I think I just want to play Clo Clover. They have it, they have it. Hi. Okay. No way you're playing Pia. I didn't see that, like, the reason to play Pia there, because... Okay, that's funny. Because we don't have anything in exile to take advantage of that next turn. I missed a land drop, unfortunately. I could go for a Pia here. Clover's just, it's just Chover. <laughs> yeah. Consider, consider. Okay, land. Play Clover. Let's make some one ones. We have five cards in hand that might counter the original. Chapter to add in five minutes. Painted indulgence. Thanks, Armbeth. The Shelly? No. Okay. Oh, I totally did my draw up. Whoops. Uh, Hearts Desire. Get two on one. See if they have another uh, Caravac. I guess this card used to be good in standard, right? He, he has. He is chilling. That's a Kalidus. Uh, I think I'm going to go for killing the Kalidus right now. I feel like it should be LOL. <laughs> I think we're going to go for killing the Cletus now by dealing six damage to Cletus, uh, just so we don't have to worry about that at all. I Sorry, if they, if they play a spell pierce, though. Good is a loose way to put that card. <laughs> well, we got to land. I'm going to go invade, uh, shock land in and then go invasion. See if they have a counter spell. Can you double your spells? It's pretty good. <laughs> All right, we'll find out what they have here. Dig through time or shelter's edict. I think we just gave the shelter's edict. And then we play the the hair. I think that's what just what we do, so we can flip the invasion right away. Yeah, and then we just play this as a creature. Then go attack in. Like we're kind of forcing them to activate their land though, if they don't want us flipping that. I thought I clicked on Edict. Uh. Oh yeah, no, no, you're right. My bad. I am not thinking of every. I'm not not reading all my cards and remembering everything right. All my cards right. This song does slap. 
I feel like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's still worth it. I, I felt like an idiot throughout this whole entire league tonight, to be honest. Those are tough to play. I've been playing a lot of standard, and I kind of for, like for the past couple of like two weeks, and I forget, I haven't played Pioneer in like two weeks, and I'm kind of forgetting like some cards. And it's my favorite Pioneer's my favorite format. I'll get through it. <laughs> I'm gonna put you down, bud. Four cards in hand in two days. Good as new. <laughs> I would like to play the showdown, but I think I need to get creatures down. Yeah, I was thinking we attack. I think we attack both at invasion. Over showdown. Maybe second main. See what they do here. I think I played well. Uh, except for that last game. The last match, I mean. Okay, there's fade push one. I mean, they can they can uh, counter that too. Still, three cards in hand, double blue. Yeah, let's go. See what we get. See if they have a counter spell. Ooh, yep. There's a hall. Two cards in hand. <laughs> Showdown number two. And keeper dealer. Yeah, I'm in decent position. Like I can't if I if I attack in, I force them to animate their hive possibly. If they don't want our token growing. I think we're fine with that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think we need to attack first and then jam showdown number two, second main phase. So one, two, three, four. Animate that. They have three mana left still to counter stuff. Yeah, let's go to combat and do it. Yeah, n yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I understand that. There's a history somewhere. There has to be I found a Lamborghini whose engine didn't start first key turn, but still in the Lambo. One starts. <laughs> okay. Did they find an answer? Oh, they didn't. Cool. All right, I think I'm going to go for Mana Confluence and Keeper this turn so I can uh, go Pia into Land into Adventure next turn. Players to grind blue decks control with nine adventures. I kind of want to build this in paper. Like, I have most of the cards. But, like, I don't know. I kind of agree with some people that I was in chat, talking about in chat earlier. It kind of feels like that you don't, like, Innkeeper and Lucky Clover together are, are a little too much. The wax stuff I come up with one wake for 20 hours. <laughs> chat is at Star 92nd. Fatal Passage. Like, so, a little too much as in, like, you're kind of, like, you have, you have to go one direction. As in, like, either go one direction of drawing cards or one direction of casting adventures. I do like both. I like them a lot. What you said, all about the Bant Sellers. Storm Herald version. Okay. But also, I, I don't have much experience with this deck. I, I could be just... Just like agreeing on on things that made sense at the moment or something. I do like adventures. Adventures are super sick. I probably cut one to two clovers. I was thinking like eventually like maybe three clovers is fine. Like Edwell and Keeper allows you to be able to have more one ones for Love Struck Beasts, but Pia does that too. Trying to cross, gotta find the next the next brew. Yeah, they're taking a moment to think.
We're gonna play Pia. Target the human token. Play Mana Confluence. Tiberius, you scared me. Uh, I'm going to cast Heart's Desire. Target that token. I'm a little worried of, like, something happening here. I think I'm probably fine. Play the Duelist. We draw Pia number two. Okay, I don't really want to attack with my edge wall. I'm going to go to combat. They crack their Fable Passage. Or what they do here? I also need to play a little faster. Attack you, you, you. I mean, suppose you can actually activate Hall. If you do, you do. What are you yelling about, Tiberius? I pet him a little bit on his head, then he pops his head back up and like stares at me like, What? Why'd you stop? I want the attention. Ow! <laughs> that, that hurt! <laughs> Tiberius! Alright, they're down to six. Alright, everything gets to the, uh, gets the counter. <clears throat> so they have a board wipe? Okay, uh, sure. I, that, that can happen. Yeah. Three cards in hand over there. Black, black, colorless, ritualist sight. That's why. I think we have to start off a Pia and then go into invasion. <laughs> so if I went Endkeeper, they would just have go to kill PS still either way. Not uh, Endkeeper here. Like, it, yeah, no, I agree. Like, I kind of want to just to get the counter, but if I play Endkeeper, then there's a chance of Endkeeper just dying. Okay, I think I'm going to hit Drown in the Lock so they can't cycle it. I'm uh, not Drown in the Shark Typhoon, I meant. Shark Typhoon. Shark Typhoon. I'm going to hit Shark Typhoon so they can't cycle Shark Typhoon. Um, drown a lock. I'm just gonna accept that they have a counter spell or a kill spell. I'm gonna play one mana later. True. Um, and then we're just not gonna get any any uh any thopters. He is just dead. Or not. Okay. Oh yeah, the bolt adventure would be nice. Nope. Invasion number two. I don't kind of see a reason to do adventure number two right now. Because they only have one card in hand. I mean, I suppose if it's like a memory deluge. Like, still cast memory deluge. I, like, I kind of like the idea of just playing edge wall and then playing some adventures. I'm at five minutes, less than five minutes. I'm kind of just playing stuff here. I need to find something to finish the game. Next turn, I'll play the play more adventures. Maybe I should have played adventure to 
to draw a card there. Ah, 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 great. So that sucks. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Literally. That was a good draw. Yeah, I probably should do that. Um, I kind of just want to ha make them have it, but I'm going to use Seek to Beast on their end step. Wait until the opponent does something. Yeah. Well, the cast are Shark Typhoon. I should have responded to that. Hey, what's up? Thanks for the tier one for 33 months. I appreciate that. I think we're dead. Uh, seek to be copy it. There's, I need to get a life. <laughs> All right, there's a Pia. Red, white. A lucky clover. If one card in hand. Play that. Yeah, that's the plan. Go to combat. Attack face. See Sandy and IPA? I actually made a YouTube video on that. Sorry, I'm I'm kinda like I have two less than three minutes on the clock chat. So I'm sorry if I'm kind of being uh if I'm kind of quiet, trying to see if I can finish this. We're in game three. We might just be dead. Depends what they have here. Oh, uh, boy. Memory deluge. Just play it. Well, parallelism with lethal, you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I missed that. Search for Escanta. Uh, cast a druid. That's your doctrinal height. It's okay. So I need to go hair rising after I have some more thopters on the field. That's nice. Uh, target here, white, undo, green, copies, I should have waited to done that, I guess, we're going to target another, uh, thopter with this, but we're going to get triggers, uh, okay, Uh, just go to combat. No, no, I should have played one of these. You block here, block here, block here. It's still enough. Clover Ziggle and Pioneer. Yes, it is, but it's not broken like it was in standard. MTD just got done. Gone from fun to not because of Cauldron, El Mayo, guy won the game with solo patchwork. Oh, 
I don't think this matters. Uh, they gain the life afterwards, so I don't want to get them life right now. Okay, we went two, three. All right, I got points. Cool. Awesome. I'm still annoyed at myself for all my plays tonight. My terrible misplays tonight I've had in this league, in my last league. I'm <laughs> sorry.